down felons. But did you know that some of these dogs also understand German? San Diego Humane Society and News Ace Nicole Hall has that story. This dog is doing what he does best. He's a working police dog for the city of Carlsbad. And last year, this canine department alone apprehended more than 30 criminals. Yeah, I'm coming out. Put your hands and the success of this dog's performance is all in the training. No, no, okay, I give up, I give up. From the day that you certify as a, a canine team to the day that the dog is retired, we train. In fact, these canine teams practice these real life scenarios throughout their career, and a dog can work as long as 10 years. The dog generally is directed uh, by verbal or, or physical hand motion command uh, to apprehend. Uh, or, or to protect the handler. And the police use these dogs because they can do things an officer with a handgun can't. If the dog is sent after somebody or the dog is, is threatened to be sent after somebody, people tend to comply a lot more quickly. Muzzling is used not as a punishment, but as a training method. We try to teach the dog to use his body, his paws, not only to depend on his mouth to apprehend. But not just any dog can be a part of this team. Oh, yeah. Out of 90 dogs, only one will stand his ground, turn around, be confident enough and protective enough to uh, go after the suspect. Is it stimulating to them? Are they, they really enjoy it? it? They enjoy it because they are working dogs, and it's a drive that we're uh, more or less feeding, and they have this intense uh, prey drive. <laughs> When the chasing stopped, I was able to pet Vito, and I was surprised he was so gentle. We want this type of dog. This is the ideal dog. Nicole Hall, San Diego Humane Society, and KFMB News 8. I should point out those pictures are only a simulation. If you're interested in learning more about police dog training or general obedience training courses, call the Police Dog Training School at 757-2345.